with uh, Paul and Jason, and uh, because I was a day player, and the Rangers were so busy all the time, I never really got to hang out much with the Rangers. I spent a lot of time alone, and I have to say that Paul and Jason went out of their way to make me feel a part of the group, to make sure that I was included in stuff. They made they would come into my dressing room and give me a hard time, uh, and uh, it, it just made the experience really lovely. And I'm very grateful to them. And they're both terrific theater actors. If they're ever doing theater, you should go see them. Yes, they are. Harvey, one time when we were in Australia, we were hanging out in my room getting drunk <laughs> after hours. And, uh, and we were like, decided, let's like stage combat fight. We're going to you know, fight choreo, you know, we do our fight choreography on the show and we've done stage combat forever. Like, don't do it when you're drunk though, because I actually punched him in the face. And, like, <laughs> and I started to cover up her makeup for like 10 days. <laughs> Really, really is. He's really nice and chill, so he punched me myself. Oh man, did you? I have to start. I feel better if you did. <laughs> I think Raja Baroudi's here. She is the uh, leader of the Alien Rangers. My question is for Steve. Uh, personally, wasn't me. <laughs> well, this is what personally, Zeo Ranger Three Blue is my favorite Ranger of all time. Woo! Uh, and originally Blue, you were originally the replacement Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. So my question to you is, do you favor one or the other, or is it just all the same to you? Um. Yeah, at that point it was all the same, you know, because you know it was just like a job at that point, you know. But uh, I do like the red. I do like the Red Ranger. Um, I think what do you call this? The, the stat, the stature that comes with being the Red Ranger. But I like the Zeo Ranger costume. I think it looks really cool. And uh, I liked, you know, the direction that they took my character in in Zeo better. So in a sense, I like Zeo better overall. But I definitely like being known as the Red Ranger. <laughs> Johnny and I weren't sure who was going to be the Red Ranger, you know? They're like, oh, they thought he was going to be the Red Ranger, and like, the wardrobe people were getting distressed, and they, they thought I was going to be I'm like, oh, man, I hope I'm the Red Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't want to be yellow. <laughs> hey. Uh, 
about Jason David Frank being a Black Ranger? Uh, well, I think mean, he was a White Ranger, and he's already had enough. <laughs> I think mean, I mean, it's a limit. You can't have more than two colors, right? I mean, three is even going too far. It's not fair. Rainbow Ranger? Since we're on the Balkan Scout, 
just want to let you guys know, we got something in the script that said, uh, and Zach took it to dancing. It, it, it was very minimal, it said they enter the room. Uh, he does his dance, they would go off and rehearse, almost like a Saturday night skit, come in and show me he takes. Like, yeah, that's great. A lot of stuff wasn't written, they come up with it on their own. Just the dancing and Bobby Scott's comedic performances. So, give these guys a round of applause. Inventing the world. Right. Um, what was that like? Have to like invent where Rangers were just getting going and what it should feel like and look like. Well, there was always probably 30, 40 kids hanging around the set outside of the studio, and um, sometimes we'd get a prop, you know, a weapon or something. And I'd go into Shuki. How do you want me to play this? Like, I don't care. Do what you want. <laughs> I, I go outside and ask a five-year-old, how would you do this? How would you shoot this? And he'd go, I'd do it like this. Okay, I'd walk back in, that's how I would do it. <laughs> 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 yeah. There was no instructions, instructions with these toys or props or weapons. It's kind of made up on the spot. Kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, I just want to start off by saying uh, you guys are awesome. And thanks for doing what you did. You're the reason I was in Power Rangers about four or three call things in a row. Probably made this much Batman. And, um, <laughs> so, what advice do you have for somebody who has the dreams of becoming a future Power Ranger? Well, uh, I would say um, the more skills you have to attribute to be an actor or, or a Power Ranger, the better. I mean, everybody, pretty much everybody up here was required to be. At least a gymnast, a dancer, a martial artist, and then an actor. So it's like you have to be everything else besides just being an actor, and the more you can do, the better your odds are. So you say parkour would be good for that? Absolutely. <laughs> parkour, yeah, yeah. You don't say anything that you put your mind to, you can do it. If God says, and if God opens the door for you to do it, yeah. you can do it. even think, seriously. I mean, I, I have friends who have gone in for things that they were not qualified for, but God said that that's the job they're gonna have, so that's the job that they got. Woo! So, anything you put your mind to. And be prepared to work hard. You know, the one thing, being a day player, watching the Rangers is they worked. They came early, they stayed late, they were shooting almost continuously through the day. While I was sitting there getting bored and tired waiting for my two minutes on film, they were out there kicking butt, doing all of that stuff, and um, it was wonderful to watch. They were great, and excuse me, I know I'm an old fart. <laughs> you guys were a great bunch of kids, you know, and uh, they were lucky. That's the other thing that you got. I mean, she's talking about God, God is a big part of it. But you gotta be in the right place at the right time, at the right moment. With the right skills. With the right <laughs> skills. <laughs> I mean, that's the way it works, guys. They, they will literally pull through. I mean, quite frankly, it, I, mean, I know for a fact I got cast almost by accident because they were uh, getting rid of the previous skull and they went through people who had previously auditioned and went, uh, this guy's ugly, this guy's ugly, this guy's ugly, this guy's ugly, these guys are pretty, take these guys. Uh, but it, it's, it's just like Royce was saying about sitting around all day for, two, for you know 10 hours and then you have to work really hard for the next two, like coming out of a dead sleep, you gotta be prepared. The moment it goes, boom. So when they when I actually showed up for the audition by accident, uh, I was freaking damn straight that I was ready. You know what I'm saying? Plus, one more thing I'll say. If you're going to be an actor and you find other actors that look like you, which they will, you need to destroy them immediately. <laughs> Thank you. But not for nothing, but I mean, Jason is actually a comedic genius as far as I'm concerned. He's always entertaining. I mean, he's a great, obviously, MC. So I think also the fact that these people are so multi talented. I mean, Alan. Song and dance man, writes his own material, incredible. I mean, seriously, cat, everybody on this panel is multi-dimensional, not just one thing, not just an actor. I mean, you really, I mean, hone your skill, really study hard, and if you want to be on the Power Rangers or any such show, really, you have got to have those physical 
technical uh, skills, right? I mean, these guys are tops, incredible. Somersaults, backflips, unbelievable performers.